Hi guys, welcome to Root Stem, and in this video we're going to teach you how to do a slightly dusty feathered base using either dry brushing or an airbrush. Hi guys, thanks for joining me. In today's video I'm going to show you basically how to try and achieve a, a dusty base finish. Um, now basically the basing that we're going to be doing, I'm going to be doing them on some Sisters of Battle. Uh, mainly because we've got the white cloak which will look quite nice with the dusting effect and of course the red armour of the, uh, the Sister of the Order of the Bloody Rose. So this, this particular effect can be done one of two ways it can be done with an airbrush it can also be done with dry brushing um, so if you've got any decent sort of rounded dry brushes this will be absolutely amazing either method is quite quick it's not very long-winded it's not very technical um, it just gives you a good looking result right at the end so basically what we're going to do is we're going to start with some steel legion drab now this is going to be for the base dusting so we're going to basically be putting this one on first. So I'm going to be, I'm going to use the airbrush method because it's my favourite way to paint, and we are just going with some adjustments to paint the legs. So I'm going to go in quite close. I'm going to pull the trigger back very slowly, and we're going to get some dusting on those lower limbs. Now, when you've got the airbrush going. Keep it as straight as you possibly can. When you're doing a dry brush, try and come up a little. We're not wanting to do a downward uh, pass, because if we do a downward pass, we're not going to get under the greaves. Mud and dust will catch under these parts. They'll not catch on, they'll catch on top of it, of course, as well. So I'm going to try and keep it as level as I can while doing this. Now, as you can see, because the cape will have been on the ground at some point, I am doing the whole cape as well as the actual boots. Now, you need to try and get the inside of the cape as well. As best as you can. There we go. Oh. Just go across, just make sure that it's dry. Possibly add a bit more if you need to. Uh, and then let's move on to the next stage. So as you can see, we've got the nice little bit of sort of dusting at the back. And we're gonna be basically going on to actually doing the base as well as a second layer of dusting. Now I did put another layer of Steel Legion Drab on just towards the edges and we're gonna use Rhinox Hide. Now what we're gonna do with that is the whole entire base. So if we do catch the feet and we do catch the bottom of a cloak, we've already protected ourselves with the Steel Legion Drab. Now the Steel Legion Drab is really good on desert bases as well. But what I tend to do with Steel Legion Drab on Desert Base is I'll probably do majority of the base in Steel Legion Drab for a Desert Base. I'll show you one of those, uh, I'll show you a painting tutorial on one of those at some point. So what I'm going to be doing now, now that we've got that sorted, let's load this up and let's paint the entirety of this base. So. 
Load it up. We're gonna go a little bit of a distance away so we can create a feathered effect. Hoping you can see this. And then just a little bit on the cloaks. Not too much. Some on the feet. Just on the edges there. As if it's dried up. Now, if the base is quite a bright base, you will probably have to do this a couple of times. I mean, I'm gonna have to go over this a couple of times with the brown anyway, um, but you'll probably have to find in yourself doing it a couple of times due to the thickness of the paint. If it's a black undercoat underneath, it tends to be fine. If it's more of a lighter undercoat, then you tend to have a problem. Let that dry, do all your figures, come back for a second layer if need be, or even a third layer if need be, you're using an airbrush, don't worry about it. If you're using a dry brush, sorry my hand, dry brush the legs with Rhinox Hide first. So you dry brush the leg beat, uh, pieces and then paint as best as you possibly can um, the basin in. Uh, you might actually be quicker doing that way. Uh, so if you wanted to combine the two, if you've got an airbrush and dry brush and you wanted to combine both methods, you can. So hopefully now we're starting to see the fact that we've got what looks like like a dried mud going on to a bit more of a fresh mud and we've also got the base done up in the rhinox hide uh, we're now going to look at putting some a bit of a highlight on there we're going to use scrag brown again you can use an airbrush or you can dry brush this on it's not hard it's very easy very quick and simple to do so what we're going to do with a scrag we are going to target bits that are not underneath so i'm basically going to put a good layer of it. I'm going to put a bit of it there and a little bit. Don't be rushing like I am. You will need to come back and do this for another blast, but kind of feathery town when trying to concentrate a little bit more on the centerpiece if you can. Um, so go through, do your figures, come back. So now, as you can see, we've got our nice little stripe. Um, I put a bit more in that one than I did in there, just to try and give a differentiation of the two. And we've got a nice looking base coming on now. One, sorry, my arm again. Um, one of the things we're gonna be finishing off with is some good old Tyrant Skull. I always dry brush, of course, because this is a dry paint. So we always dry brush this stage on. Um, I'm just gonna grab my dry brush, because I've got it. Here we are. Now, I've got a medium dry brush from Games Workshop. And I, for this, I prefer to use a flat. I know a lot. there's a lot of these big makeup brushes that are being used at the moment and rounded ones, but I don't think they work for this because what I'm doing is just running it across and I'm just wanting to catch the top layer. Just avoiding the skirts if I can. and all we need to do now is either put some grass or some turfs on there because this particular base is quite universal can be for pretty much anything and um, you just need to rim the base with whatever color you're going to actually put around the edge normally me i always do black quite like that uh, sometimes i might put a stripe in it if it's for a particular unit but majority of the time i'll just do a black round so let's get it based up let's get it blacked let's get some grass on and there we are, nice little bit of feathering, dusting and basing. So, thank you very much for watching guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button if you do want to see more. And uh, we'll hopefully see you next time on the Rootstone channel. Take care, be COVID safe, and see you next time.